Hi guys, it's a Monday, shortly after 8 in the morning. I'm on my way to work. Mondays are always very long days for me because after work we keep meeting with our uh, group. And today myself and other friends are going to a famous uh, fringe festival show called Military Tattoo. It's a um, international military show that happens on Edinburgh Castle. The tickets usually get sold out really quickly and we are really lucky that we managed to get them quite recently. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. The show happens every night and uh, there are fireworks after that, which I can hear from my window, <laughs> but uh, I've never actually saw it. As you can see, all of this is a part of Fringe Festival, which I cannot believe is actually coming to an end soon. <laughs> While leaving a flat, I saw that I totally by accident got color coordinated. So here's my purple jacket, my shoes, a purple as well, and my backpack. Wait, I'll try to film it. Can you see? So random acts like this made me very happy. <laughs> okay, it's eight p.m. nearly. I survived work and the meeting after work. Now I'm about to meet my friends and we are going to the military tattoo show. My first show of French festival, which is embarrassing because it's almost the end of August. Here is Lothian Road, if anybody was interested. And we are going to the Kylie Picture House. I don't think they are here. Okay, so my friends arrived. <laughs> we are in Kylie Picture House. This used to be a theater, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. We decided we're not staying, but just for you, I'm going to get inside and show you how beautiful it looks like from the inside. So here you can tell it used to be a theater and now there is a bar. Here is a place where you can eat food. It's huge and it has an awesome atmosphere. Okay, here is a castle where we are going. We have to go all the way up. We are at the castle and this bit isn't normally here. This is where people sit on that tattoo. They uh, take it down after the festival. So we are nearly there. I'm glad our seats are so high. We can see everything. I'm excited. <laughs> Yesterday I arrived to Krakow. We are just getting ready for a hen party of my best friend. We're getting ready. We're gonna do some hair now. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see us? I don't think the light is hey. great. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to buy a painting. My first piece of art, first proper piece of art I will own. I'll show you because it's a beautiful painting which I fell in love last time when I was in Krakow, which was a few months ago. And I just needed to come back and to buy it. Um, we are going pole dancing. I've never done it before. I don't think any of us have but I'm sure it's gonna be a day of a lot, a lot of fun. So this is my new painting! I bought it uh, near the Floriańska street. Here is a man, I will leave you the link, the link to the man's work below. And that's the painting I've chosen to buy for myself because it's exactly how Krakow looks like. So yeah, we're just getting ready to roll it and then I'll be able to send it to, uh, to my home in Edinburgh. The first step of our hen party is the traditional pole dancing class. <laughs> so much fun, but definitely not something I would normally do. <laughs> but wait, let me see. <laughs> Have you ever been on a pole dancing class? <laughs> we are now having a pre-night out dinner with all the girls uh, from the hen party, and we are at the boat that's on the Viswa, Vistula or Viswa river. Here is Vavel Castle. You can't really see it quite well. I might actually come out to show you Vavel Castle. 
Yeah, that's better. So it's a 16th century castle. Um, and uh, just an interesting fact is that the only reason why it wasn't destroyed in the Second World War was because Hitler wanted to live in that castle, so he saved it. And uh, thankfully, that's why it's still there. Otherwise, it would be just as destroyed as Warsaw was. So here is... Oh, you can't really see it, but um, from my flat, where we used to live here as I was a kid, we used to see Gravel Castle from the windows. So a lot of memories in this place. And I'm now going for the food, the waiting. We're on a boat. We're listening to embarrassing music, doing hundreds of selfies. <laughs> and the castle is behind us. We're at the club and it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh well, half past one. And the usual, club usual, somebody lost their wallet, somebody is too drunk, somebody wants to go home, somebody stays dancing. So that's the usual what happens when there is a big group of girls going out. Uh, somebody wasn't let in to go inside because they were dressed not right. So. Uh. Next morning, update. We are, I don't even know, we are not really dying because we've had very little alcohol. Myself and Agnieszka, we don't really drink that much, but we're still exhausted because it's been, it's been a long day of activities and then a long night of adventures. So yeah, I think it's a Sunday, we're just going to spend it you know, in bed, basically. And tomorrow I'm flying back to Edinburgh. I've had pizza for breakfast, by the way. <laughs> breakfast, which we had about 1 p.m. Classic. I think Aga, Aga is quite not responding. <laughs> not surprising. Hi, I'm back again. Not only in the same flat. <laughs> I'm back to Krakow. This week has been so crazy because I've been at the hen party last weekend. I had to return to Edinburgh for three days and back to Krakow for the wedding of the same girl that had a hen party. So it's Friday, 2 p.m. I just woke up because I was so exhausted after last weekend and you know when I was in Edinburgh I had to work so I didn't have a chance to rest. And uh, I have to go to town to grab a card and some other things for the wedding. It's very warm in Krakow, so I'm wearing something summery, but at the same time it's quite cloudy. So I have a long trousers and uh, have a red lipstick today for this touch of glamour. Oh, this atmosphere. I wish I could pass the atmosphere to you through the camera because that's what's impossible to do. You see all these gardens. That's the place of my childhood. And here we have the Marieski church coming out. So this area is just a half of Market Square. Behind that there is the other half. Mm. The Market Square is the largest in Europe. It's one of the largest in the world. My dad would always say that the only one larger is in Mexico. I have horses chasing me. Uh, it's here since 1500s, so it's quite old. <laughs> and it has seen a lot of things happening. You know, wars, all the other occupations, and all the, all the bad and good things. That's my hometown, my birth town. People are very friendly and everyone is welcome <laughs> to come and see this beautiful place. And the thing that I always admire when I come here, and I'm sure many other people too, are beautiful Polish girls. They are very skinny, very beautiful. And I'm sure you will notice it straight away as soon as you arrive to the airport. I've got my wedding cards and we have a little bit of sun. Look how beautiful it is. It's uh, Florianiska Street. Hi guys. 
I'm flying back home today. But before I'm back, I decided to visit my grandma on the cemetery. Unfortunately, I can't find her grave. I remember it when I was a child, but you know, I haven't been for so long. I just can't find it and I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I have my light, but no grave. Mm, the only reason why I'm filming here is to show you how beautifully decorated the graves are. And um, I know when I had my friend around from the UK, she was amazed because she said she has never seen more decorated graves. <laughs> and it's not like there was any celebration. This is normal. This is how Polish people remember and treat their uh, dead ones, their loved ones who passed away. And I continue my search for my grandma's grave. Hopefully I'll find it before I have to go.